Hello guys, I am going to walk through about S T S film. Let's create that now. I just I already have. There are many 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 T S film nodes and setups available in Nukepedia and internet. If you go through internet and search T S film gizmos or setup for Nuke, you can find so many setups and gizmos. This is my favorite Nuke. The spell node which I have created. First one, uh, screen color, green or blue. I made green as uh, default. The second one is amount of the spell. So if we go zero, our green screen will be back. You can have any values based on our input value. This will remove the green spell. The next one is fix green spill in blue screen. So this will be useful when you do this spill for a blue screen. I will talk about this a bit later. And next one is visualize spill removal. This will give us visual of how much green we removed from the plate. Multiply. It is changing the color of our screen. So if I sample this one, our screen. It is saying like 0 0.494949, which is middle gray. In certain cases, it's not like same. It will change some of the amount. In that case, you can change the value slightly. Bring your screen towards middle gray. Or if you want any other color, you can change using these three RGB values. Next one is luminance back. Uh, luminance back, as everyone you guys know, uh, when we remove green spill, we are also changing, affecting the luminance of the plate. So we need to put it back, the luminance which we have taken out, how we can use this one. So if you see, uh, there are some green screen reflection over here and her hand. We are still seeing some of the green over here. So if you increase this value see so if you see it's full screen I will make it full screen yeah. so make it go back to one still we are seeing some of the green I go to 1.3 just removing this green what this will do this will overall affect your skin tone and the plate that's why I added mask option in this one we haven't given any mask input so I created on roto node and this is the on red limit mask so i am connecting here turn off it will affect overall your plate if you turn on it will affect only the mask area so in this shot i have done some basic key and I am merged over with the plate. This is my base fill. So nothing is changed, everything is default value. And red contribution also 1. Uh, still, we are seeing some of the green here. So if I go to 1.3 or 1.2, which is fixing this one, which is good. But what it is doing, if we check her shirt, it is changing the color of the shirt, so which we don't want. Okay, so either you can use garbage mat for wherever area you want, you can isolate, and one more cool option when if you check closely your edge, still we are seeing some of the green here in the edge. If you add some of the value already, our edge start blending really, really well. Take edge detect. RGB. So I am connecting my edge detect mask to red limit. And I enable mask. It will affect only the edge of your plate is not affecting 
so now removing any green over here here and here you can add one more thing you can add a roto shape here if you want include this portion merge this one so if you check we removed here and if you want to remove somewhere here you can do one more garbage mat and one more garbage mat over here so this is where this tool is very useful if you see our edge looks still a bit more brighter so that you can control by taking down some of the luminance back or if you want to go brighter you can make it more brighter and if you increase more the red but it's going towards a different color um, and you can change if you want to change add change or add extra red into your edge you can control with this one we already started seeing how much green we removed from that so if you check this edge if i go back to one see how much green we removed by using this if i disable the mask i can start seeing i removed some of the green from the face and this hand side everywhere if you check here you can clearly see how much green we removed you can control how much we removed enabling this one and adjust all these sliders let's check please build the blue screen let's create as this film and go to blue so you can you can see straight away it is removing the blue as well as the green expand this one you can see remove green you can adjust the value like how much green you want to remove if you want to remove halfway fine or 80 percent 90 percent 100 percent it's up to you how much you want you can remove so we removed blue as well as green and check with this one visualize check how much green and blue we have removed if you don't want to remove any green from the plate just uncheck this one it will turn off all the green display expression inside the gizmo or if you want to remove 50 percent of the green you can do that also so if you see see how it's changing so you, so it is very useful when we do blue screen display so my suggestion is first add this tool and keep everything in default and check this one then adjust the sliders based on your requirement same thing go to red contribution it is changing the values if you check this one when i change this one see what is happening check this one how it is affecting this red contribution is for any future request or any bug or reports email me and if you like this video subscribe thank you guys